Corona Arch Trail is located just 14 miles outside Moab, Utah, along the Potash Road. This is one of our favorite hikes in the area, and it's not even in a national park. Hi, I'm Alexandra. And I'm Evan. And we are within hiking distance. Today we're hiking the Corona Arch Trail in Potash Road near Moab. The Corona Arch Trail is two and a half miles round trip with 400 feet of elevation gain. The trail is family friendly and clearly marked. There is no fee for hiking this trail. From the parking lot, the trail gains some elevation. At the railroad tracks, the trail levels out as you hike down an old dirt road. The wide trail narrows into a gap where you'll climb out into an open area. The trail is easy to follow while traversing on the sandy path. Look for Karens along the trail which will help you stay on track. The sandy path leads to a large sandstone cliff where it runs along the base of it until it reaches the other side. There's a safety cable off to the left for any exposed areas along the trail. You'll need to ascend a steep section of sandstone rock using cables and steps carved into the cliff. There is then a short ladder to climb onto a large sandstone bench. Views of Corona Arch can be seen in the distance. There are also views of another large arch called Bowtie Arch. Bowtie Arch is located high above on a sandstone cliff to your left. It is like a pothole with a bottom carved out of it. It's possible to walk under it and look up toward the sky. Only a short distance further is Corona Arch. It is 140 feet tall by 105 feet wide. It is a great place to stop and relax for a bit. Our son sat down and played with his cars on the sandstone rock. Papa, I ride to the Crone Arch has a view over a large gorge. We saw a train pass by, which our son enjoyed a lot. Did you like it? The arch is big and can easily be walked under. It's a great opportunity to explore the area and see both sides of the arch. We're at Corona Arch. Real nice here. Only ones at the moment. Some also some real nice clouds also in the background, so hopefully our photos turn out real well. Once you're done exploring the area, retrace your steps back to the parking lot. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.